happy Sunday St. Paul's and welcome to this week's Sunday School. I don't know about y'all, but I am absolutely loving this fall weather and I am so excited for October. Now, we have been spending a lot of time in the vineyards in the book of Matthew. And this week we're making a little bit of a switch. We're moving in to the Bible story um, within Philippians. And so in Philippians, this is Paul who is writing to different churches around Philippi. And so Paul wrote to the church there to encourage them to be united and to stand firm in the Lord. So he also included a kind of reprimand to two of the women to be of one mind. So two people that he worked with that were co-workers spreading the good news, the gospel, they were fellow missionaries, they were preachers with Paul. And in these words to this beloved church members, Paul reminded them to always rejoice in the Lord. And he showed that there are many, many, many ways to encourage others. So just as this letter that we're going to read in our story time was an encouragement to the early church, it also encourages us today as our church. So in the season after Pentecost, it's a wonderful time for us to encourage one another to rejoice in the Lord. So grab a comfy spot, settle in, and I will see you there for our story time. St. Paul's. I hope you guys grabbed a comfy spot and are ready for our story today. So as I said, we are in this part of the story in Philippians and Paul is writing to the church in Philippi. And all of this story and this letter is about encouraging Paul's friends. So let's settle in. Our story today is called Paul Encourages His Friends. And this is from Philippians chapter four, verses one through nine. Paul loved traveling and teaching about Jesus. He helped early Christian believers create churches together. They wanted to share the good news of Jesus. Some of the government leaders thought Paul was teaching people to dishonor the emperor by worshiping Jesus, so they threw him in a prison. Paul felt lonely in prison. I miss my friends in Philippi, he thought. I wonder how their church is doing. I know, I'll write them a letter. Dear friends in Philippi, I love you and miss you very much. Do you remember when Yudia and Zinchi and Clement and I worked together to teach about Jesus? You wanted to learn even when it wasn't easy. Remind the women not to argue, but to work together when they teach about Jesus. Rejoice, be happy, do not worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Pray like we prayed when we were together. Prayer will bring God into your hearts. Remember what I said when I was with you. Think about what is true and fair. Praise God for everything God is always with you. Your friend, Paul. Paul read through his letter again. He didn't feel lonely anymore. He found a way to keep sharing the good news with his friends. Well, Let's see what our craft is for this week, and I will see you all soon. Hi, third and fourth grade. I hope you all loved your craft this week. Now, when we're thinking about our story today and the letter that Paul wrote to his fellow Christians, what do you think Paul meant when he told his friends to be of the same mind? Do you think that they have to think exactly alike? Do you agree with everything your friends think or say? That's a hard question. And the peace of God can always guard our hearts and minds. Are there times when you think you may need guarding? And what is a way that we can show gentleness to one another? Hi, third and fourth grade. Welcome back for this week's Bible bit. I am so excited for this one. It's a fun little bit of information. So the churches Paul visited were small and looked to him always for encouragement. So kind of like how a coach is speaking to a sports team that's getting crushed or beaten, he offered words to strengthen them for their daily challenges as they continue to build these churches.
Well, St. Paul's, I hope you all had a wonderful time this morning doing this week's Sunday School virtually. I am so grateful for each and every one of you, and I can't wait for us to all be reunited soon. Um, hopefully, I get to see you at our in-person services at St. Paul's Cemetery. Otherwise, I will continue to see you all here. Happy Sunday!